I am challenging two other YouTubers to attempt this challenge. Hoa and Devnagar. So I was challenged to make a game by Zayafkai in 24 hours. Here is the making of Zoom. I knew I wanted to make a platformer, so I started off by drawing a attempting to draw a player. Alright, so pretty much I found out that my drawings look as fitting for Call of Duty as this person looks for the Minister of Health. So I decided to embrace my stickman drawings and drew Kante. I knew I wanted Kante to be able to crouch, jump and climb walls, so I quickly made some animations using rigging, which makes it so that you don't have to draw every single state of the character, which would take forever. After I finished Kante, I quickly moved to player input and movement. I made a script where the player was able to move using WASD, but it was not good enough, so I added the ability to crouch and sprint. For sprinting, I used an if statement to check if the shift key was being pressed. If it was, I multiplied the movement by the sprinting flow. Implementing crouching was similar. Again, I used an if statement, and if it was being pressed, I just decreased the height of the player. Okay, I'm about 5 hours in, and I'm back from watching YouTube. So the first thing that comes to mind when you play the game, is that the player runs away from the screen. But I do not want that, so I made a simple camera follow script, and now the camera follows the player all the time. Right now the player has nothing to stand on and just falls into a bottomless pit. So I created a 2D square and then basically made the whole level with that square with different shapes and sizes. The game was still looking pretty dull though so I found a random free image and now there's a background image. Okay so so far you can move around standing on shapes. Cool. So I added lava zones in which if you touch them you die. You don't really die because you actually respawn almost instantly but your time will be worse. You might say what time? This one. I made it by converting time.delta time to a string, Boring. and then our string will be the timer's text. So with 4 hours left, the game was somewhat playable, but there was no end to the level, and I say level because there was only one. Out of nowhere, a victory icon landed on my front doorstep, so I added it into the game, and then if you touch that victory icon at the end of the level, you won. The programming done for this part was not Yandere dev level, but it was okay. At this point, the game was actually playable, but it still had things wrong with it. The main problems were, it looked like shit. There was no restart button, play button, controls button, I guess you could say no UI. And the third one was, it wasn't fun. So I fixed these problems. I first made the game look better. There wasn't too much I could do since the game was a 2D platformer with some squares, so all I did was add some materials to the level. After that, I added some post-processing, and these two changes made the game really pop. Tackling the second problem was relatively easy because it was just making UI. It took about one hour to make the main menu and escape menu. I used free icons from Icons8 which is a useful tool most of the time to get no copyright images. The last problem was the game was not fun. To make the game fun, I knew what to do, which was to make it competitive. Why would people compete? For money. But for this idea to work, I had to log into my PayPal account. Insufficient funds. Well that didn't work, however I still ended up making a half fast leaderboard with what time I had left. The scores did not show in the game, but they showed on PlayFab, which means you can still submit your time but it won't show in the game. I'll see them. And because I had other things to implement, like sound effects and music with just an hour left, I decided to leave the leaderboard and focus on the more important things. One hour left and the game is missing one vital and extremely crucial thing. Sound. Have you ever played a game with no sound? It's like driving an electric car with no steering wheel. Unheard of. I believe a song is more important than a sound effect, and with one hour left, I wasn't going to be able to make one. Also, my composing skills are not cutting edge. So I go on YouTube, search for Kevin McLeod, go through many of his songs and finally pick one out. It's actually the one you're listening to right now. For sound effects, or sound effect, I made some sounds with my mouth.
Then I used Audacity to edit it, and now there is a jump sound. At this point, the game was pretty much done. But notice how I'm saying the game, because it has no name. Oh, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a rapper. So I had to think of a name, and then it just came to me. Zoom. And now, after 24 hours, the game was finished. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy, hit the dislike button. I upload every two weeks or so, and I'd love to see you here in two weeks. See you then.